Welcome to Hit or Miss. Myself, Big Zoo. I'm joined by Lucy Bowman. Woo! Hi. I could be Little Zoo, couldn't I? Do you want to be Little Zoo? Yeah. Welcome to Hit or Miss with myself, Big Zoo, and Little Zoo. <laughs> so we've got some different delicacies. Ooh. Uh, all fish related. Okay, that would make sense, wouldn't it? It'd be weird if they were sort of like pig related, wouldn't it? Now, you're gonna taste each one. You don't have to taste all of them. We're gonna taste like different ones, and right. you're gonna tell me if it's hit or miss. Oh, okay. Okay, That's is this simple? Because like young people like watching stuff about sweets, don't they? That's what I had. Do you know what my daughter watches? Videos of people running over sweets in a car. What we have here is GMO-free, vegan, and dairy-free. They are seaweed cracker peanuts. Oh, lovely. Thank you. You're all right. Would you give it a hit or miss? Can't taste the seaweed. Yeah. Hit. It's a hit for me. Bit underwhelming. Give it a miss. What we have here some premium seashell chocolate. These are very indulgent. So. So, yeah. is there any fish in it? No. Just just fish shaped. Just fish shaped. Right. Smells nice. The shape is incredible. Doesn't smell like the sea. Smells a bit weird. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. It's a hit. Uh, that's really good. Wow. Do you not think that the fish here are just a bit bored? I, I, it's really odd. It looks mean, in it? Even I didn't want to live in all. That penguin's not happy here, is it? So what we have here? These are vegan native prawn crackers. Right, it wouldn't be a seafood extravaganza if it wasn't really that prawn crackers. Wow, I mean, this is a real turning point. But have prawn crackers got prawn in? They haven't, have they? They should do. But they, I don't think they have. It's I a bit think... weird if they don't. No different. We say hit or miss? That's hit, another hit for me. I, I give this a uh, miss because that little office is a bit weird. I need my prawn crackers to taste like they come from a Chinese food shop and they've been there for four days. You can take that. Okay, thank you. I think what we've learned is I'm just grateful for anything. You are. That's what we love. I think we're going to go into some Swedish fish because... Ooh, Swedish fish. That was my nickname for a while. What? I don't like them, but you can try. You know you don't like them. Ready know. How, how come? Been to America a couple of times. Oh, is it American thing? They're popular and I don't like them. No, I don't like them either. But, it's a good name, Swedish fish. It tastes like artificial flavours. I'd say that's a miss. It's a miss. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. Seaweed chips. Do you know what I learned? You know when you get seaweed from Chinese takeaways? Yeah. Just fried cabbage. I know. Right, I'll smell them first. They look like nachos. Absolutely lovely, but they are green nachos. I don't even think they can call themselves. How did they get away with calling themselves? Seaweed chips when they're blatantly, it's nachos. Oh, there's a little seaweed. Seaweed bit comes after. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit buzz. Has it got seaweed in them? Species oh of seaweed? Oh my god, seaweed? that's buzz. Oh my god. 10,000 species of seaweed exist. Today you're tasting two. I'm gonna give that a miss. I just, I don't think, if you've got space raiders, why do you need these? She said it, and I agree. Miss? Miss, miss. Miss Lucy gave it a miss. That's been hit or miss. With myself, Big Zoo and Little Zoo.